Hey, it's Leah with Enlightened Mystic Essentials. And today we are going to spy on the twins. How it's going to go is we are going to um, get main energies and some wisdom for the Divine Feminines and the Divine Masculines. And then we are going to surrender release if we have to. And then I'm, I'm going to break down the energies that I um, get. And then, you know, because we're in the month of February, I'm going to add a um, focus intention. What the feminines need to remember and keep their focus set on. And what the masculines need to remember and keep their sight set on. So, we're going to go to Doorway Gateway, the Spirit, first. Then we're going to get two energies. Mm -hmm. And then, at the end of it all, we're going to see what the focus intentions are. So, Spirit for the Divine ma Masculines. Masculines came out first. What is the hidden wisdom for them? At this present time. All right now. Masculines. You have three cards. Face up. Masculines. You have the Eagle King here. The creation of a bigger picture. You need to see from a higher perspective. Or angelic help. Mm -hmm. You also have the Dream Walker. The dream walker represents dreams, the collective good, and illusions. And then, of course, the one that wants to hide, <laughs> the chess queen. The chess queen. So, for the divine feminine spirit, what is the spiritual message here? For the divine feminines at this time. Okay, listen, feminines. You have one that flips over in the deck and faces down. But it's a beautiful card. You have the cosmos. You have the cosmos. That is the universe. The divines. But then you have three cards that came out. That are face down that's so you wouldn't know wouldn't see you have the word lord this is a card of communication mm -hmm. and praise and dishonesty you have <laughs> the lady in the mirror this card represents reflection and non-judgment and then you have the hawk prince just like the, the masculines have the eagle prince, you have the hawk prince. Representing spiritual communication, spirit communication, or paying attention. Okay? So that is your spiritual messages. Now, before we get into the energies, let me explain all of these cards, right? So, you okay, the masculines have... Two threes. And threes represent, you know, the creation of. So when you talk about the hot prince, I mean the hot prince, the eagle king, the eagle, because it's an eagle here, that represents a message that is coming in. Right? And considering the fact that the eagle king is next to the dream walker. Divine masculines, it is now time to start paying attention to your dreams and looking for symbols. And then the thing about it is, the dream walker is an eight. Eight is the number of spirit. Eight is also spiritual um, rebirth and rejuvenation, also known as a transformation. Yes. And then the other three is the chess queen. Trust and strategy. 
don't worry about how you make your moves or how everything is going to go masculine because spirit is here to make the moves for you. Yeah. So you you have help. But just remember to pay attention to your dreams. And so then let's go back over here to this the feminines. You um have the cosmos, the universe of the divines. Uh-huh. Representing creativity and vastness. This talks about a change is going to occur. If not already occurring. Now, let me let me let's let's go back. If you looked at the two uh twin flame, I did one reading and one energy read. Well, we know that the feminines had um the power to make the judgment, right? Then I turned around and told you in the energy read to make sure that your judgment was um, balanced and fair because, you know, that's what came out in the reading. If you have already rendered judgment towards your divine masculine, it is now time for changes to occur. So what you have to look for now is communication. Mm-hmm. And this, uh, the word Lord that represents communication, praise and dishonesty, but we don't have to worry about the dishonesty unless it's saying that the masculines are going to come in here and, uh, uh, correct what was done that wasn't done right. And they're going to like confess that, you know, they were wrong or whatever. But anyway, this number uh, of this car is seven. Seven is a number of self-reflection, right? So, when you talk about a seven, don't forget I've told you over and over and over. What the feminine does, the masculine has to do as well. Whatever the masculine does, the feminine has to do as well. So, when you get the seven... You better open your eyes and realize, okay? And then you got the lady of the mirror coming in here talking about reflections and non-judgment. You can't get this communication and be like, you know what? You suck. No. When you got somebody coming in, pouring their heart out to you, mm -mm. you better open your eyes. And then, then, then here is your eight feminines, divine feminines. Eight represents... Spirit, spiritual rebirths and rejuvenation, also known as a transformation. And you better be careful because if you render judgment, mm -hmm, don't forget that the masculine is going to have to render judgment back. So when you look in that water and look at those emotions, try to be non-judgmental, honey. And then you have a two here. With this eagle prince. Hawk prince. Wow I'm getting them mixed up. Is that the mirroring? <laughs> um, you know. The spirit communication. And paying attention to like. The spiritual communications. The signs and symbols. Yeah. Just like the masculines. Yeah. Just like the masculines. Um. Two represents choices, pairs, conversations, debates, and the secrets. Where the secrets are being held or exposed. Doorway, gateway. F divine feminines. So open your eyes. Because a message is coming. Communication is coming. Is it now time for... And so, okay, you got communication and a message, right feminines? Masculines have dreams and bigger pictures. So is it time now for the talking? The talking. It's, some, it, it's a big movement getting ready to happen here between the two. Okay. And this is it's a little different because this is how spirit has me doing everything. Okay. So, and then the other thing where the masculines have the chest queen, which is spirit, which is, you know, 
eight. Spirit represents eight. The, the feminines have the cosmos, which is the divines. Even though this is a five and it talks about change, the divines in the universe and the cosmos number is nine. Yeah, nine. Because spirit is a being that goes throughout the earth, earthly plane and physical realm for spiritual growth. And when you go throughout, when the spirit goes throughout, goes throughout according to what the universe allows, right? So, those were your spiritual messages. So, now let's get into the energies, right? We're going to have the divine masculines versus the divine feminines, right? So, spirit, what are the energies at this time for the divine masculines? What are the energies of the divine masculines at this time? Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, oh, wow. Heidi. Listen. You have two cards, um, masculines, that came out and touched the chess queen. So, this is your sign and symbol. You need to trust in spirit here. Because a plan has to be mapped out. And the fact that spirit. Uh, this card is a three. It's the creation of. Because your first card out is community. In reverse. No attachments. No attachments. Right? And this is. Oh. <laughs> and this is a seven. A card of self-reflection. Or a number of self-reflection. No attachments. Right? And the other one is another seven. and But it says no patience. Masculines. No patience. So no attachments, no patience. What is this about? And it's two sevens. This is a seven and this is a seven. But when you say two sevens and fourteen, it equals a five. Five represents change. A change that needs to occur. So that's why you have spirit on your side. Masculines. So spirit for the divine feminine. Okay. Came out quick. <laughs> temple path baby. And this is a three. The creation of the temple path. And considering the fact that. um, The temple path represents the twin flame journey. Yeah, speaking loud and clear. That's your first one, feminine. Another, um, you got it again. Another one came out quick and it touches this card. Ooh, you have a eight here and this is the action card. The action card. But this card comes out and it bumps the clarifying deck. And usually when a car either bumps the deck or whichever deck is out and it jumps on or touches that deck, I usually take the first card, right? So the first card is uh, the Two of Cups. Taking action. Taking action towards the Two of Cups. Taking action towards the Two of Cups. Because see, let's look. This white horse is beating this black horse, right? And consider the fact that that black horse represents the negative or the dark or just energies that are unknown. Yeah. And the white horse represent, represents the positive. Yeah. The um, light. Yeah. So, and then this card is an eight. Eight represents spirit or spiritual reverse and rejuvenations or transformation. So considering the fact that that white horse is winning the race, but what is it racing to? It's racing towards the two of cups. Now, don't forget that two represents pairs, which is it a pair, two pair, two is a pair here and a pair here, right? But it's just not two horses and two people, it's two cups. And that and that and those two those the two horses, the two people, and the two cups make a six, which is a balance. So taking action towards the two of cups, divine feminine, right? 
So now let's get ready to get into this clarify deck and see what's going on. So spirit for the divine masculines, what is this community in reverse? No attachments. What is the no attachments here? Okay. Card comes out. Crossing over. Both. The um, no attachments, no patience. No attachments, no patience. No movement. Because this is the six of swords. No movement. So, no attachments, no moving forward, no patience. That's exactly what it says. That's exactly what it says. No attachments, no movement, no patience. Because you know what? This sounds like a lesson needs to be learned. Masculines, you still need to learn lessons. A lesson. What you, the bigger picture is here. Dreams, the collective good and illusions, spiritual rebirth and rejuvenation, transformation. Mm -hmm. Let's see, spirit, clarify the six of swords in reverse for the divine masculine. Why is the six of swords here in reverse? Look at this, look at this. Masculines crossing over the six of swords also in reverse is the three of coins no cooperation no collaboration so no attachment no patience no moving forward because no cooperation no collaboration listen masculines let me let, let me tell you something When you go against the grain or you fight against this, uh huh, or you don't allow this, you are going to uh, struggle and you are going to suffer. So, what you better do is open your eyes to the bigger picture. And if you don't know if it's a dream, or is it real? You have help. Honey. Spirit is here. Because all of this reversal. Rever reverse. Reverse. Mm -mm. Let me see. I want to look at this no patience. Spirit. Clarify no patience for the masculine. Divine masculine. Why is this no patience here? Okay. Card comes out face down and touches the two of cups. Oh, brother. Choices, options. Also known as <laughs> distractions and illusions. No patience. Mm -hmm. In choosing or options or being distracted. The two of cups. Listen, I don't know if the feminines, the divine feminines have rendered judgment that has thrown you off of your rocker, but at the end of the day, they're saying no attachments. So are you alone at this time? And then let me be clear. There are different stages of this twin flame journey. So I don't know if you're new to my channel or not. But if you are I'm Le Leah. And um, I am a person who reads numbers and colors. And usually when I do the twin flame energy reads or readings. I always do the divine feminine and divine masculine. But tonight or today the, the masculines came out first for the first time. Now I see why. Because it's all this reverse negative. Anyway, listen. So if you are looking at this video and you're like, I don't know what the hell is going on. Maybe because you're not at that stage. 
And when you go back and look at the reading for January, because see, this is for February. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'll tell you in one of those videos that a shift is coming. And for the people who did not know that they were um, on a twin flame journey or had no clue what the twin flame journey was, they are entering in too because everyone is taking a step. But those steps are only given to the people who are allowed to move forward, right? And right now, the masculines is like not learning a lesson because they are refusing to see the bigger picture. What is the bigger picture? That two of cups. Listen. This is not a dream. This is not an illusion. This is real. This is real. And you need help. So let's go. This is the first time I ever like really seen this. So for the divine uh, masculines, let's surrender, release, and accept. What's going on over here? Spirit for the divine masculines. Witness no attachments, no patience. All these sevens. What needs to be surrendered, released? And then look, this is another seven. This distraction. <laughs> Three sevens on the board. So, spirit for the divine masculines, what needs to be surrendered, released, or accepted at this time? You got one. Surrender to non action. Isn't that perfect? It suits you well, divine masculines. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your power. Let others come to you. Yeah, but if these others are uh, they, that they speak of is the feminines. Is it that the feminines are coming forward to render judgment? Or is it the fact that the feminines have came forward and rendered their judgment? So now you are stuck. And you don't know what to do. I don't know. But let's go over here and see what is the focus and tension um, of the divine um, masculines. What you need to keep your focus on. I, you know. Since you're not moving and all of those things. Because see, this uh, surrender to non-action is this. No movement. No collaboration, cooperation. And then they tell us you stuck because you distracted. Oh my God, Leo, I got seven cups. Which is the right cup? I don't know. You, what do you, what, and then the thing about the fact that it's cups. That's emotions. You, 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 I mean, are you letting your head lead you here or what's, what's going on? Because if you are hit with the illusions of these cups, this would stop you too, divine masculines. Because you wouldn't know what cup to choose unless you're one of these people who like to try all the cups and see which one going to work for you. But what if you start over here on this end and then you have to go through all of these cups just to get to this end and that's what your prize is at? That's a lot of time, effort, and energy, baby. Mm -mm. Spirit for the divine masculines. What needs to be the focus of intention at this time? I ain't see how that came out. <laughs> and it crosses over. Surrender to non-action and these seven of cups. You have perfect facing your fears. Come on now. Facing fears. Come on, man. T head first. Head first. Face it. It says major spirit, spirit it says major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. So let's go. It says major spiritual changes are unfolding. When you talk about spiritual changes, that's the eight, honey. The dream walker is your eight. Spiritual rebirths and rejuvenations. Yeah, also known as transformations or at this present time, major spiritual changes are unfolding. 
Mm -hmm. And then it says, this is your chance to soar, grow, go forward, take action. Yeah, because you need to see the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. This is your chance, the creation of a bigger picture or angelic health. And then another three that makes the balance. Three plus three is six. Six is the balance. And then you trusting in spirit to make your moves for you. Yeah. So you can go forward and face these fears. Yeah. Now let me explain this card to you. Kalima. Right. Now first thing you should notice is those uh, <laughs> skulls around her neck. And in case you have not counted them. Let me get a look closer. There are eight skulls. Eight comes here again for you, Divine Masculines, because it is a transformation, honey. Spiritual rebirths and rejuvenation is the eight, also known as transformations. Oh, yeah, you finna face these fears and get over this non-action. Because who really wears their uh, defeats around their neck? People you know they they when you when you when you wear jewelry or necklaces it shows it shows the world of the people who are watching something and but here she talks about her defeats i have defeated eight fears now she is crowned in red flowers and on her shoulders also is red Red represents blood, love, or defeat. No one is bleeding here, so blood is out of the question. But are you representing love or defeat or the defeat of love? Right now, masculines with all this reverses, reversal everywhere, no movement. <laughs> you rocking this defeat. I'm talking about rocking it heavy. But... Don't be alarmed because in the chest <laughs> is the fire, is the action, is the passion. I said, is the action, not the non action, but the action, the drive. And considering the fact that it uh, is over the heart area, the chest is, you know. Is where the heart is kept. Yeah, baby. You're going to take action. And then you don't have to worry about representing the defeat in your crown. Because it's going to be about love. Because you're on the twin flame journey. Divine masculines. Right? Yeah. So, feminines, it's all right. You want to wait a little while longer. Or we are going to wait a little while longer. Until this uh, uh, lesson is learnt. Because it's a lesson that needs to be learnt on their uh, behalf. Maybe they have to build up the courage. To make a move. Because now, you know, some. They don't have any attachments. They're not with anyone. They are by themselves. But see. Now that they are by themselves, they're starting to get impatient. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so when you decide to face your fears masculine, the feminines will be waiting. Let's go over here, feminine. You up next. The creation of the spiritual connection. The yin and the yang. The up and the down. The left and the right. Yeah. So, let's see. Spirit for the divine feminines. Clarify the temple path. Why is the temple path here? The spiritual connection. Why is it here? Okay. Okay. It comes out. Oh, and you hiding something. Oh, and you're hiding something. Because see, when it comes out, I see this. The, another seven is on the board, but it is for the feminines. You have the seven of staff. 
standing ground and resisting and move back. You go, you're getting too close now. You're getting too close. That's what you're saying, feminists. But the thing about it is, something is being moved back and out the way. Because the night of staffs is hidden. The night of staffs is hidden, right? So let me show you how it looks. The seven of staff mm -hmm, is the standing your ground. And the knight of sword, the staff, my swords, is the um, movement to take action. But understand, taking action to move forward for that knight is going away from standing the ground. So if you're going the opposite way of standing the ground, where are you going? Over here to this taking action. Let me see if I can get it where you can see it. Hold on. Let's see. It's taking action over here. Taking action over here. Towards these two of cups. You see it. You see it. <laughs> Their knight is coming in to take action and going the same way that white horse is going over here. Yeah, uh -uh, we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see. <laughs> okay, Spirit for the Divine Feminines. Clarify the Knight of Staff. Where are you going? Where's the Feminines headed? All right, you want to hide? Want to hide? And you have two. The High Priestess. The High Priestess. This could represent a person's position. Or this could represent secret. Secrets. And then you also have the page of coin. Secrets. A secret. Secretly offering something solid. Secretly. You take an action towards secretly offering something solid. But even at the end of the day, this offer that secretly or... That secretly being offered is pushing up. That offer is being pushed up. And what is above this um, offering is the uh, temple path. It's the offering being made towards the connection. Yeah. Right? It's the offer being made towards the connection. The offer being made towards the connection. The offer secretly secretly being made so would that be your word Lord because that represents communication praise or would it be the spiritual communication and paying attention because see when I when you talk about the high priestess the high priestess is is is, is a is a um a energy Mm -hmm. And considering the fact that she's a major, she could be looked at as this hawk prince. And when you talk about an offering of something solid, this could be represented as a um, communication or a praise. You see what I mean? So, you know, it just depends how you want to look at it. So now, okay, so the, the divine feminist is taking action towards secret. A secret offer, secret offering of something solid of material and physical, yeah, value. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But let 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 me be clear, feminines. This too, this this high priestess, she represents secrets. So, uh, did she can come in and hold a secret, the secret holder, uh huh, of the unknown. Or she can come in and expose the secret. So, why are you standing your ground again? Why are you standing your ground again? So, look. Let's see. I'm finna, we gonna find out. Spirit, clarify the seven of staff for the divine feminines. Why is this? Look at here. You can't even see it. It's hidden. The hermit. You're standing your ground for the hermit. And right now, who is the hermit? The hermit is someone 
who is alone on a journey. Didn't the divine masculines just say that uh, they had no attachments? So if they have no attachments, does that make them that? Or does that say that they're alone? Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so now let's move over here to this action. Taking action towards the two of cups. Taking action towards the two of cups. Mm, they around here moving and things. Around here taking action. Look at you. So spirit clarify the action towards this two of cups. That came out quick. The emperor. Now let me tell. Let, 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 let me let me tell you something. Let me tell you something now. Let me show you the placement. So divine feminine, you over here standing your ground, right? But you thought you was going to get away without telling us what you were standing your ground about. You standing your ground about the hermit. And so now you want to take action. Mm -hmm. You It ain't no you want to. You are taking action. And then it talks about the secret. Secret. Offering of something solid. And then when you talk about this action. Towards the two of cups. Now the hermit. Turns into the emperor. Who is the emperor? The emperor represents a male figure or a masculine figure. That is a boss. He runs his empire, his household. Yeah, whatever situation. Yeah. This is the big dog, top dog who you give the reports to. This is who the knights run to. This is who the knights have to report to. And feminine, you just was taking action. Taking action towards where? I said the two of cups, but now I see where you going. You going over towards this emperor. So now you have the hermit that you standing your ground by. Finding himself because the hermit has to go within and go on a long journey to find himself. To seek that. To find the answers that, him, that he seeks. But now. That the answers have been found and eyes have been opened. So is that the change? The universal's change. Universal's change. Or is that the communication and praise? Because see, understand the fact that I don't have to talk to you to communicate with you. My body can talk to you. Some people can astral plane and tele telepathic communication. All that's that spiritual communication and paying attention. Yeah. You take your choice. But see, when you decide to leap into action, there's no more judgment. Because that's why the non-judgment here. So is it the fact that you say, okay, I'm going to stand the ground and I'm going to um, resist anything coming my way. Pertaining to the uh, hermit. And so you say. I'm going to take action. So you take action. And when you take action. Boom. Now he done bossed up on you. They done bossed up on you. So spirit. Let's see. Clarify this emperor. What's this emperor? Clarifying the action towards the two of cups. Alright. Card comes out face down. We don't know what it is. But we're going to find out what it is. Divine love, man. Really unconditional love. Yeah. Yeah. Feminine, that's why you're running your ass over there. You better be all this long time. We done waited. Child. Because I'm done with the waiting. I'm done with the waiting. So, you know. <laughs> some things are... It, it, The change is occurring. The change is occurring. The universe say, okay, it's time. And then when you start looking at all these eclipses and these booms, you better start paying attention because <laughs> this, in matter of fact, let's not, <laughs> the high priestess is here. Yeah, the high priestess. 
You don't see that big old moon up there on her, uh, above her head on that crown? You better start paying attention. Start paying attention. But you have a choice because two represent choices as well. But two represents those doorway, those gateways. These doorways and gateways are according to the moon cycles. And we have a couple moon. What is it? We have a um new moon coming in on the 4th of February. And then you have the full moon coming in on the 19th. Hmm. You better start paying attention. You know? Because uh it's movement. It's time for action. And don't and you know, you better be ready. So now let's see what your focal intention gonna be. So spirit for the divine feminines. Yeah. What is their focus of intention at this time? What they need to keep their mindset on. Seen that come out? And now let me show you what it crosses, <laughs> what it falls out on, and you don't even know. <laughs> White Eagle, Ancestral Spirit. Yeah, I've been trying to tell them. Connect to your lineage or your lineage. Your lineage is your bloodline. A family wound or pattern can be healed at this time. Yeah, you know why? Because there are blockages and barriers that need to be uh, cleared out. So you can go forth and uh, become a complete unit with your divine masculine. And when you come into unit or union. That's that two of cups. That's that two of cups. That's that emperor. Right. And that's that divine love, right? Right though. That's that divine love. See that? Do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Right? So, um, when you and the uh when you when the feminine, divine feminine and the divine masculine come in a union, when I say it's so much going on, like a lot of people have no idea. When you all come into union outside of the um, abundance and the wealth and the success and the light of the world and the recognition that you all are going to get. Because the divines have paired you. Mm -hmm. There are going to be releases within your bloodline. Mm -hmm. And I've been talking about it for a minute. Because just like you have to release some things in your bloodline, the masculine has to release some things of his bloodline. That's why I was pushing these ancestry readings. Like y'all need to talk to your uh, spiritual family. Like your family that has crossed over. And once again, it never fails. Here it is. So divine masculines need to face their fears and take action. And why the divine feminines are taking action. You better release. And start releasing your part of the curse that is on your bloodline. And then the thing about it is. When I keep talking about the curses and the blocks of the bloodline. This is the evil uh, evil works or the dark forces that don't want you to be with your divine um, masculine. Because their light is going to be so bright. That it's going like, to shine out and phase out the darkness. So they're going to work and do whatever they can to stop this. You know what I mean? So you just have to pay attention to, to, to spiritual communication. Because that's what we're doing. This is why spirit has me doing this differently. And then just not you. The divine masculines have angelic help. That's also spiritual communication. But the cosmos, the universe, and the divines are here causing a change. And then in this car, isn't that a full moon too? Hmm. What you paying attention to? Probably didn't even notice that damn moon. You better open your eyes and realize that this is not a game, honey. So, until I come back, this is what it is. And I'm going to try to come back. Because see, before I came here, now, 
Spirit, I kept saying, okay, I got a few more Face in the Fear reading. And if you haven't watched your Face in the Fears, go watch your Face in the Fears. I think it's like two signs I haven't done yet. But I'm going to probably get to them tonight after this video. Um, I was like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? For the last couple of days, I've been getting a couple of things. And Twin Flame been in my head for like days now. So I said, let me go on in here. So I pull out all my little cards. I said, okay, I'm going to just usually do it. Spirit say, no, you're not. You're not going to do it how you usually do it. We got something different now. So I was like, all right. Let's roll, because you know, I'll be ready to go. Let's go, let's go. Come on, what you, what you got? So this is what it is. Okay? So, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm Leah. Um, and the thing about over here, I get, I get to the business. Like, I get to straight to the business. I keep it straight with you. I don't have time to beat around the bush, because when you're on the twin flame journey, whether you're just entering in or... You trying to figure out what's going on. And, uh, there's steps to everything you do. And when you are um, appointed or you are selected or however you want to put it. You know, you're here on this twin flame journey. This twin flame journey ain't no joke. Because it's going to be heart aches and heartbreaks and the building up of energy. And I can't do it. Then you, yeah, I can do it. And you, you do it. You know, so face the fears, masculine. Look at the bigger picture. You over there sitting by yourself and everything, and you still got the feminines waiting. Or is you just going to stay, keep your distance because the feminine starting to render that judgment? Because, see, last month I rendered mine too. And you know how I did it? Right here. I said, oh no, when or how, what? Huh? Spirit say, uh, right now. And right after Spirit came in here and tell, told me it's time for you to render judgment, I got that text message. I was like, dang, that was quick. Got the message and not even 15 seconds later, that text message came in. I tried to keep it sweet, but at the end of it all, I said, listen, I can't do it. I just, it's, no. Because it's still a lot of secrets that are being held and not exposed. You're, you have to come forward and confess. That's part of this. You know. That's why you're not moving. Listen. Go ahead and face your fears and get it over with. Please. So listen. I'll be back Um, probably. Probably. You know, the week before Valentine's Day. I know everybody's like, oh, I want to be all loving on Valentine's Day. Listen, how many times have I told you I'd rather wait it out? We've been waiting. So, uh, I don't want to try to rush anything. I don't want you to rush anything. Just let it flow naturally. Everything that's going to happen is going to happen in its own perfect timing, which is the divine. It's divine timing, honey. And right now, a change is occurring. So, my twin flames, honey bunnies, that is what we have going on for the beginning of February. So, until I see you again in the, the middle of February, right before Valentine's Day, I try. Probably. It, it just depends. Spirit might have me come back tomorrow. I, you know, you just never know, baby. I just go with the flow. Because it's better to go with the flow than go against the grain. Yeah, don't go against it. So, until I see you next time. And, you know, think positive. Stay positive. Because when you think positive, yeah, you act positive. And I'll see you all later.